Friends, today we are going to convert 240 volt AC into 5, 12 and 15 volt DC. To convert 240 volt AC into DC, we need the following components. We need a transformer, we need semiconductor rectifier diodes, we need a f capacitor filter, voltage regulators. The function of the transformer is to step down the volt the 240 volt voltage AC into a manageable level of voltage. Okay, so we step down the voltage from 240 volt AC closer to what we want to achieve. Like we want to achieve 5, 12, 15, so we need to step down the main AC close to that. So this transformer here is rated 230 or 240, 230 volt 50 hertz, so it, it will give us 16.5 volt at the output. So we'll feed 230 volt this side and we'll get 16.5 volt on the secondary side. So if you want to know more, much more about a transformer, I'll put the link in the description. I've already made a video on a transformer. A transformer is a machine which allows us to step we can step up the voltage using it. We can step also down the voltage using it. Like in our case, in power supply, we need to step down the main AC voltage. After stepping down the main AC, we need to rectify this, this voltage using semiconductor <laughs> diodes. So we are going to use bridge rectifier method to rectify the AC we'll get from the transformer into DC. Then after rectifying, we'll have a pulsating DC at the output of the bridge rectifier. So we'll have to filter to remove the AC components into from the rectified DC. So in this in this uh, project, we are going to use a capacitor filter. After filtering the DC, so now we'll have to make, to obtain a constant voltage. DC at the output because the nature of the AC the input AC is fluctuating so we need to get a constant DC at the output so for us to be able to do that we will need uh, we will need this voltage regulators so we will have one which will provide us 5 we will have another one for 15 and we will have another one for 12 so like for in this case you can see 7805 this will provide us 5 volt, 78 15. This will provide us 15 volt and 78 12. This will provide us 12 volt. Now, friends, we are going to test the transformer. We'll see what uh, the trans this is the transformer now we are going to use. We'll see, we want to check its output. What is the voltage output? So, the voltage input is 230 to 240, 240 volt. Then we need to, to get measuring the output voltage of this transformer. So, so you can see the main source is here, the AC source. So the AC source which is coming to this transformer, the primary, the two, 240 volt, 230 to 240 volt, is entering the primary coil, primary side of the transformer. Then the output is gotten from the secondary side at this point. You can see I've linked here. So it is connected to a voltmeter. This voltmeter is going to measure for us the output voltage from this transformer. So let's turn it on. So you can see that the output voltage of this transformer is 30 volt. So this transformer is providing us 30 volt. So we are going to utilize this 30 volt to give us uh, the required output. So we have stepped down the voltage to just closer to the output voltage. But for the, pro the main project, we look for a transformer of 15 volt output. So this is just the way we're just testing the transformer. So this is the end of the part, the first part. Then next part, the second in the second video. Now we're going to we're going step by step, connecting part by part until the end. So stay tuned. So we're going to build up our power supply at the end. So you, you, this you are seeing here, this is a switched mode power supply. A switched mode power supply. We will also come to that. I will explain everything about each and every component you see here. I utilize this transformer to just explain. How the transformer steps down there in the main AC voltage.